In this video, I'm going to show you how you can track your GPS module on the Google Maps for free. Hi everyone, this video was requested by one of my viewers and I thought I'd make a quick video and share with everyone. So let's go ahead and get started. What we have here is a Neo 6M GPS module. Then we're going to need an ESP32 or you can use an Arduino, Raspberry Pi, you get the idea. Now let's talk about the data. So you have your GPS module, which is connected to an ESP32. ESP32 is connected to Wi-Fi, but you still need somewhere to be able to send the GPS location information. That way you can access it and show it on the Google Maps or any other maps, right? So you can use uh, Google Cloud, you can use Azure, you can use your own database, you get the idea. But I was looking for something easy, simple, and free. So this ThinkSpeak, it's a great way to do it. And here you can create your own, let's call it a simple table with an API endpoint. That is the best way I can describe it. So after you create an account with ThinkSpeak, you go under channels, you click on my channels and you can create a new channel. But before we go under a new channel, let me show you the channel I created. Then we go back and show you how you can create yours. So here's my channel and I called it ESP GPS location. You can call your channel, whatever you want. Then you'll get a channel ID. We will need this because we will plug it into the code that I will provide. Link will be in the description for everything you see in this video. Now, in addition to the channel ID, we have API keys, and that's what we're gonna need also to be able to write. We're gonna use this key. That's gonna allow us to write to this table. To be able to read from our table, we're gonna be using this key, and that's how we can be able to read from the table and these are our api endpoints so of course uh you keep your keys uh private please do not share these for me i do not care i'm doing this for the purpose of the video and for the demo but i'm gonna delete this when i'm done so uh, let me show you also the channel settings and the only two fields you really need is the name. So you're going to give it a name. You can give it a description if you want. And then these are the two fields. So you will check these first two boxes. And then the first one, I called it latitude. And the second one is the longitude. So this is the x-axis. This is the y-axis from our GPS module information. You can also provide a default location. So if you check this box, the show channel location, if you check this box, you can provide a default location for your GPS module. You don't have to do this. You can just skip it if you want. Then you will save your channel and very much you're done. Now, let me show you how you can create your own channel. So if you click new channel, you give it a name, like we said, you check this second field, and what you need is the latitude and the longitude, and these are the two fields. That is very much it. And like I said, you can check this box and give it a default location if you want. You click Save Channel, and you're done creating your channel. Now, another feature, if I go back to my channel, another feature I want to show you here is this is a private channel. However, you can still share it if you want. So you can share this channel with everyone or you can share it with a specific someone by putting their email address in here. You can also export and import the data. So a lot of features that comes with this free version. This is pretty cool. Now, uh, we talked about the API keys. We talked about the sharing. We discussed the channel settings. And this is, there's like a public view if you do share your channel and there is a private view which is for you you can see here in the private view you can add some widgets and right now i have a latitude one which show me my points 
and this is the longitude. So this is just a random simulation that I put in. Uh, and this is my uh, location right now. I put it in Las Vegas. This is, again, this is a fake location I'm using for uh, demo and education purposes. So uh, this is it for the ThingSpeak. So you create an account, you create your channel. Now, you obviously need to feed the data into your channel after you create the channel. So first, let's go over the uh, demo of how this looks like. Now, I have this uh, page that is hosted on my PC, which is displaying the current location. This is an, an, a Google Maps iframe. However, you don't even have to use Google Maps. You can actually use the free view that is provided here, which is the channel location. So the ThingSpeak does provide you that, but if you want to build your own page, you can. I will leave the code to this page in the description, and it actually automatically updates every 20 seconds. So this is a way to do it using Google Maps. And the reason you see the refresh, this page is refreshing because it's an iframe and we're passing the information to it. So to be able to show the change in the location, we have to refresh the iframe. Otherwise, we can still show it on Google Maps, but then we would have to create a Google Cloud account, and then we would need a Google Maps API key. Just to be clear, that can still be done, and it would still be free to a certain limit. It depends on how many, uh, how many times you hit the API and what's the frequency. So it can still be done. It can still be free, but it would be a bit more complicated, and I wanted a simple way to do this and avoid the Google Cloud subscription and the API key. So I wanted to make it a little bit easier for you. Now, if you want me to make that in the future, we can do an enhancement on this project. Leave comments below, please. Now, uh, let me point out a few things in the code here. So the first code here, this is the simulate GPS location. This is not the real GPS data. This is just a simulation. Like I said, I'm feeding into the table. So just I can show that this is working. Um, this is using an ESP32 connected to Wi-Fi. So you put your Wi-Fi information. That's what you need to change. And then also you need to change the write API key and the channel. That's the channel from the thing speak, the channel ID and the write API key. That is very much it. The rest of it is just like I said, it's a little bit of fake data here and a fake GPS simulation that changes by about 0.5 point, uh, like every 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 uh, spin, it does update. So that is for the GPS simulation. Now let's look at the other code here I have for you, which I've done this before, where I've used a GPS module with an ESP32. So I'm gonna give you this code if you want to use an actual GPS module with an ESP32. I have a plenty of code and videos on my channel. We've done this before. So you can use that and feed your actual GPS information if that is what you want. But if you just wanna you know, learn and play with this, you can still use the simulation like I did. Obviously you change your Wi-Fi information here and then the rest is just getting the GPS information and the wiring. There is plenty of videos on that. So I'll leave this in the description as well. The last piece here is the HTML page, and this is the iframe page that is using uh, Google Maps. And here, what you need is also, you need to pass the channel ID and the read API key. So you wanna change those and update these in the code and then the rest should work as you see here. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave them in the comments. I do not want this video to get too long, so I'm gonna try to end it here. Uh, hopefully this is helpful. Uh, let me know uh, what you think, and I will see you in the next one.